So today we're looking at how to add a dropdown from a range. And this is convenient because it makes it easy to add or edit your options without having to change the actual rule. So first of all, how do we add the dropdown? So you can click on one or select multiple cells, right click and then go to dropdown. And then under the criteria, we want to select dropdown from a range and then we can select our range. So I like to click on this select data range, click in here, and now you can just click and drag on your range. And if you wanna make sure it applies further down, you can always remove those end references, hit okay, and then now those are populated just like that. So you can check options like allow multiple selections, which just means they can select more than one, or under advanced, you can change things like whether they can select something other than those options, by showing warning, or you can select how those drop downs are displayed using those options. So once you're done, you can click done. Now, one thing I want to do before that is this is only applying to the first couple of rows here. If you want to apply to the whole column, go ahead and delete that end reference. And now we can click done and you can see it applies all the way down. So if I click into one of these, you can see it has all of our options. And if I come over here and add a new one, and then click back on my drop down options. You can see that new option shows up right here. And then I can always delete one as well, and then it removes it from the options. Now, I demonstrated how to populate this from a drop down on the same tab. Now, it's probably likely that your drop downs may be on a different tab. And so let's go ahead and look at what it looks like to do that instead. And so if you have this data validation rules open over here, you can simply click on this to edit it. But if you do not, then you can simply click into one of these and click the edit button. Now one thing to make sure we do before we click save is we won't want to add a colon in C just to make sure it applies to all of them. Otherwise, it's only going to change the first one. Now, once we've done that, we can click on the select data range again. Let's clear this one out if it is not clear. And then we can go to drop downs and then we can start clicking and dragging here. And again, we can drop those end references we want if it's not gonna be a fixed range of items, and then click OK. And if we come back over here, we can click Done. And now if I delete this entirely, just like this, our product options still work. And if I come back over here and add product 11, and then come back to my options, there is product 11 right there. All right, so that is it for today's video and adding a dropdown from a range. Make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on Google Sheets. And as always, have a great day.